The Battle of Mount Tambo was a series of actions fought in the Salamua area of the territory of New Guinea between Allied and Japanese forces, which took place between 16 July and 18 August 1943, during World War II. The battle formed part of the wider Salamua Lay campaign and was fought in the final stages of the campaign, which had seen a combined Australian and US force advance from war towards Salamua following the repulse of the Japanese attack on war in late January and early February 1943. After several frontal assaults on the position by Australian and US infantrymen were rebuffed by determined Japanese defenders, an indirect approach was sought and flanking moves were undertaken to cut off the Japanese supply route along the Komaitam track. This succeeded in eventually forcing the Japanese off the position as they withdrew to avoid encirclement. Chapter 1 Background in late January and early February 1943, Japanese efforts to secure a vital airfield at war were checked by a small Australian force, leading to the end of Japanese attempts to capture Port Moresby. This victory was followed up by the Australians as they pushed into the surrounding area. Following actions around Mubo and Lababia Ridge in late June and early July 1943, the Australian troops from Brigadier Murray Moton's 17th Brigade was ordered to push towards the Komaitam and Mount Tambu area, about six miles from Salamua, as the Allies advanced towards Salamua, with a view to tying down Japanese reserves there, to divert their attention away from Leh. Chapter 2 Battle The highest feature on the route between Mubo and Salamua, Mount Tambu consisted of a series of steep razorback ridges that were covered in dense jungle. Throughout July and August, troops from the 2nd Australian Imperial Force 2 5ths and 2 th 6 th Infantry Battalions and the Militia 42nd Infantry Battalion, undertook a series of actions around Mount Tambu and Komaitam. The area was defended by around 700 Japanese troops, from two battalions of the 66th Infantry Regiment under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Fukuzo Kimura and Major Saki Sugiyama, Initially the position was defended by only Sugiyama's 2 battalion but in mid-July, Kimura's 3 battalion arrived to reinforce them. These actions were fought in conjunction with actions in the surrounding area, which also included attacks on Bob Dubai, an amphibious landing by US troops at Nassau Bay and actions around Roosevelt Ridge. The initial Allied assault was made by troops from the two fifths on the 16th of July 1943, and the Australians secured part of the southern slopes of Mount Tambu. The Japanese began to counterattack that night, but were repulsed with heavy losses. The Australians suffered 39 casualties, including 14 killed, while the Japanese lost around 350 men in the eight attacks before dawn. Shortly after this. Kimura's battalion arrived to reinforce the Japanese positions as the Japanese High Command determined the need to hold Tambu. On 24 July, the two fifths launched a further attack across a steep ravine, which had to be crossed to reach the summit of the position. A small group reached the top but they were eventually forced off following fierce fighting. On the periphery, the 58th-59th and 2th-7th infantry battalion were heavily engaged around the old vicar's position, during the fighting around Bob Dubai, while the 24th infantry battalion was engaged in security and diversionary roles, trying to draw Japanese forces away from the main Australian forces. On 28 July, the several companies, consisting of about 400 men, from the 1st battalion, 162nd Infantry Regiment, which had landed at Nassau Bay earlier in the month, arrived and relieved some of the Australian forces in the forward positions around Mount Tambu. Australian mortar crews and stretcher bearers remained in the line supporting the US troops, while one company from the Australian 2 5ths Infantry Battalion continued to maintain a base around the mountain. On 30 July, an uphill company level attack was made by the American troops, which failed. For his efforts in rescuing 12 wounded US soldiers during the attack while under fire, an Australian stretcher bearer from the 2 5ths Infantry Battalion, Corporal Leslie Allen, was awarded the US Silver Star. His actions were captured in a photograph by Gordon Short. The Australian commander, Moton, looked for an indirect approach, 
focusing upon cutting the Japanese defenders' supply route along the Komaitam track. This was completed on 16 August 1943, when the 26th Infantry Battalion secured the southern part of the Komaitam Ridge and then held it against determined Japanese counterattacks, supported from its flanks by heavy machine gun fire from the 2 fifths and small arms from the 42nd from Davidson Ridge. The Japanese defenders then withdrew from the position as they became threatened with encirclement. Chapter 3, Aftermath Operations in the area continued for the rest of August and into September as the Japanese fought to hold the Allied advance on their final defensive line in front of Salamua. Nevertheless, the Francisco River was crossed in late August, and the main Japanese position around Charlie Hill was taken in the first week of September. The Allies also launched a seaborne landing near Ley and an airborne landing at Nadzab as part of an operation to secure Ley, which Allied planners considered more important than Salamua. Pressure had been maintained on Salamua in an effort to draw reinforcements away from Ley but as the Ley operation developed, the Japanese moved about 5,000 to 6,000 troops away from Salamua by sea, abandoning the badly bomb-damaged town. In early September, Major General Edward Milford's 5th Division headquarters took over from the 3rd Division and the Australians launched the final effort to secure Salamua. Bad weather hampered their efforts but the airfield and vicinity were eventually secured on the 11th of September by Australian forces from the 15th and 29th Brigades, after a brief engagement with the Japanese rearguard. Australian losses in the campaign were 343 men killed and 1,083 wounded, and 8,100 Japanese casualties, 2,722 being killed.